In this video, I'm going to show you how to change invoice number in Xero. So first up, what you'd want to do is to log into your Xero dashboard. In here, you're just going to look for the company name right on the top left section of the screen, and you should see a drop down. So give that a click and then select settings. Now under settings, we're just going to look for invoice settings over here. And then on these tabs, just select default settings. Now this will pull up payment terms, automatic sequencing, show outstanding bills, and quote expiry date. Now in payment terms, you can edit the default date for the bills and the sales invoice. But for changing invoice number, we're going to be focusing on automatic sequencing. So here, under invoice prefix, say for example, your company has a or an abbreviation then you can add it over here. So maybe right now I'm using the demo company. So maybe DC will be its abbreviation. So we can add that on the prefix. And then on the next number, uh, this will be handy for tracking your current invoices. So let's say your last invoice ended in around maybe 352. So your next one will be 353. We're just going to edit this to 353, just like that. And if you'd like, you can also edit the credit note prefix, purchase order, quote prefix, and add a quote expiry date. So once you're satisfied tinkering with those settings, all you have to do is click save and it should be good to go. And that's about it. That's how we change invoice number in Zero. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below, and I'll do my best to help you out.